Now at 10, we want to turn back to our top story. The sun has set tonight on cleanup efforts in Buchanan County. Devastating flooding has damaged an estimated 400 homes. WFXR's Drew Onks has been down there all day today speaking with families and getting a look at that damage. Drew, what are the locals telling you tonight? Yeah, Kathleen, they're telling me that they're just trying to put their lives back together. They're trying to find their possessions, their pets. Uh, they're trying to put their homes back together following these devastating floods that have swept through the area. I want to give you an idea of the community that this flooding happened in. It's an extremely rural community uh, between mountains here. And these people are, you know, it took them a long time to find all of those unaccounted for people because of the lack of cell service, the lack of internet access. It's an extremely rural area. And these people, they really do care about each other, though. We saw a man with a Kubota tractor bringing it over to try to clean up a little bit of, of his neighbor's yard. We saw neighbors looking for their neighbor's pets, uh, looking for their possessions, uniting together to kind of put their lives back together after uh, this flooding that ripped through the area. Now we got a chance to talk with some of those people that are dealing with the aftermath of, of the water that swept through this area. Again, 400 structures impacted by this homes swept away, swept off their foundation. And we talked to those people and, and here's what one man had to say about when he saw his neighbor. The people down here, just, they was sit there all night when the trailer went down, just went there the next morning, just sitting there crying, everything gone. And that's exactly what a lot of these people are dealing with. I want to bring in Chief Meteorologist John Carroll. Yeah. And I talked about this a little off the top. We are literally in the middle of hills yeah. and mountains, and that's kind of what caused this to happen. to this Right. Place. If you want to think of this, you can think of this very simply as a bowl. Yeah. You know, I mean, a gully, a hollow, anything you want to mention that will describe this. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was uh, ripe for a storm that just kept staying over the same area uh, for three hours and dumping significant rain and everything just funneled right into these valleys. And uh, the Dismal River Creek or Dismal River uh, area yeah. was extremely taken just out. What was what was the thing that really stuck out to you today? You got a chance yeah. to look at, at all this. We saw cars flipped over, yeah. you know, homes ripped off their foundation. What, you know, what are your what did you see that really kind of stuck out in your mind today? Well, what's interesting is you come to sites where people have had just complete wipeouts of their houses and stuff, and they're, they're walking around and they're grabbing for things. Yeah. They're looking for mementos. They're looking for small uh, trinkets that they could reach over and they'll pick up a plate. You know, and, and it's, oh, I found the, I found the plate. And it almost you know, has extra significance. Yeah, and it's like, okay, all right, we're, we got something. Let's go. A, a jar of spaghetti. I saw a woman walking around today with a, a jar of spaghetti sauce, and she was, you know, oh, we, we, we got this. You know, so it was just that, okay, we're wiped out. We're finding stuff, and then the way the folks got back and around them, hey, we're helping you out. We're going we're gonna to deal with this as a team, as a community, and that's what we were doing. Yeah, and that's, that's what we want to focus on following yeah. all of this and the cleanup far from over. So. Right. Yeah, it's going to be months before this is all cleaned up. And uh, just the rubble that uh, everything was wiped out when, when the, the weight of the water yeah. knocks something out. Man, it really does take it out, and there's just pieces of debris everywhere from cars inside the creek. Uh, there's a, a railroad track that's wiped out uh, right along uh, Dismal River. So, yeah, it, it's bad. And that's that's what we heard. It, it just ha happened so quick right. for these people. They didn't know it was coming. Yep. They didn't expect it, and they just had to run out. They had to leave everything behind, and, yep. it, and it's a tough thing to have to Yeah, do. that woman that, that I talked to today, she's well, it just started coming over the hill. You know, and, and just down this way, and then we said, we got to go get her, yeah. we got to go get them, yep. and, and they all rallied together, but it was within a heartbeat. They were looking at basically an ocean, is what it was described today, of water, that the, this woman described it as the sound was destruction, yeah. which is what it Absolutely was. Absolutely true. Yeah. Right, John, thanks so much. Yep. Obviously, the cleanup here is still very much underway. It's going to continue, like John said, for the next couple of weeks, and we'll bring you coverage and any updates on this. The governor expected to visit here tomorrow uh, to meet with these families, to meet with this community, and offer his support. Kathleen. Drew, thank you. They are going to need all the help they can get.